Hey, this is Monochox, and welcome to the fifth and final video in our Blender tutorial series. This time we're going to be using a fluid simulation to add whiskey to the glass. Uh, so let's go ahead and switch to the 3D view. And just because I've done this before, and I know a problem that we're going to run into, uh, we're going to need to select these ice cubes and make them smaller. And just set them in the middle of the glass. Basically, with a low resolution fluid simulation, they need more room uh, to actually go around stuff. So we'll just need to make those smaller. Um, next thing we want to do is just add a cube. This is going to serve as the domain for the uh, fluid simulation. And basically what that means is it's just the area where the fluid simulation happens. Uh, we want to make it about the size of the glass, maybe a little bit bigger. Um, but we want it to be as small as possible uh, in order to contain the fluid simulation. Let's go ahead and go over to this physics tab on the far right. Uh, click fluid change it to domain and then we need to change these guys to fluid obstacles and change this to both uh, just to make sure it collides properly uh, same exact thing with the ice cubes change it to obstacle change this to both and once we've done that that basically just makes these things that the liquid will collide with um, now we need to actually make the source of whiskey so just add this little UV sphere, scale it down a bit, move it to the top corner of the fluid simulation domain, click fluid, change this to inflow. All right, so basically this creates whiskey or water or whatever liquid you're doing right now. We're gonna change this to both as well. Um, what we wanna do is have it offset itself a little bit and have a little bit of velocity coming out. Uh, we want to go in this positive y direction this green arrow so i'm just going to set this to 0.2 and i also wanted to go in the negative z direction to pour it down so i'm just going to set this to minus 0.2 um, and once i've done that just go ahead and go back click on this domain again uh, we're going to set this resolution to 40 which is super low but it'll make this take a lot less time uh, beyond that go ahead and expand this fluid particles section Set this to 0.5, expand this fluid boundary section, and untick this remove air bubbles button and set subdivisions to 1. So once we've done that, start and end time should be fine. Uh, everything should be good to go. So just click bake and wait until it finishes. And now that it's done, we can actually move this little animation slider down here at the bottom. Just click and drag to move it around and watch the animation happen, basically. And you can see it's super low resolution, and that's fine. Uh, just set it to... Uh, we'll leave it to about here where the ice is actually covered. Go ahead and go to the material section, add a new material, change this to glass. Roughness is fine. Let's go ahead and change this IOR to 1.1. Then once we set this to 1.1, we want to go up here to the color and set it to something sort of like whiskey, I guess, which we're just going to eyeball and say it's something like this. So now that we've got the whiskey in the glass, the last thing I want to do is actually just finalize this scene and set it up to make it look a little bit more like that original picture that I showed you. So what we need to do for that is go ahead and right click this little light here, hit X, delete that, uh, add a plane in the middle, just hit S to scale it up, scale it up really big. Let's go ahead and change the solid view. Move that down so it's at the bottom of the glass. Uh, set the material to that to diffuse, just like that. Uh, just go ahead and add a, another plane. Move it back. Hit R to rotate. Hit Y to lock it to that. Hit 90. Enter. Scale that up a bit, just like that last one. Hit New on material. Change that to Emission. Strength, we'll set that to 2. Go to this left display tab here, click view camera. Uh, the next thing you want to do is hit N somewhere here. We should see this lock camera to view. So go ahead and click that. You should see a little red border around the camera. And then we can move this around. Just position that where we want it to be so we can see the full scene here. Uh, and go ahead and click render. This will take a little while. So I'll be back whenever the render is done. And we're back. So we finally got this render complete. We can see there's some weirdness going on here with this fluid simulation. Again, it's low resolution. There's a lot you can do to make this a look a whole lot better. But for now, this is about what I had at the very beginning. Uh, the only difference between this and what I had at the very beginning is really the, the samples that I had, uh, the resolution that I used when I actually rendered the image, and the fluid simulation. Uh, if you go back and change everything, then you'll have exactly the same image. So... 
hopefully this helped you learn a few of the tools for using Blender. We went through a lot of stuff here really fast. But um, if you ever need to, feel free to come back. Use this as a reference. Uh, if you like the series, go back and like all the videos. Um, let me know if you want any future tutorials about something else or if you have any questions about any of the things that I did. And with that, this is the end of the tutorial. Thanks for watching.